Well, amen. 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 Thank God for this day. Amen. Thank God for Pastor Sister Cook. Yes. Pastor Bolton, Pastor King, and Pastor Hogan. Thank God just for being here this day. Amen. Luke 14. That ain't what I meant to give you. First Timothy. Amen. I want to give y'all what I gave you this morning. Amen. Amen. First Timothy 5. First Timothy 5. Verse 17. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. If I had to use a subject, I would talk about reciprocity. Reciprocity. I believe that uh, if we're going to uh, begin these services for today and as well as do what we need to do for pastors, and uh, especially for uh, Pastor Cook, uh, we have to look at reciprocity. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, defining reciprocity is a trade agreement. Okay. Amen. It's a trade agreement. Right. And I think everybody ought to do fair trade. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. Uh, the dictionary states that if uh, somebody give you something, you ought to give it back. It ought to make a profit off of what you give. I was looking yesterday, and, uh, and there was a uh, reciprocity in the social uh, psychology area, and it talks about reciprocity of the action word. And you have to show action. And a lot of times, uh, people say, I love somebody, but never show it. Amen. If, if pastor have done... Uh, all that we keep talking about he did, we ought to give him something back. Yeah, all right. Amen. Amen. I, I think that every person, we should never look at the selfish mode of it because a lot of times, people just look at me. Uh, it's always a, a me situation when it comes down to doing something for somebody. And, and you oftentimes think about the fact that if it's not tangible in the sense of me holding it in my hand, I really can't do nothing with it. All right. Well, when I when I kept looking at uh, 1 Timothy 5 and 17. It said, let the elders that rule well. Mm -hmm. Amen. It didn't talk about a dictator, but it talked about ruling, meaning have good administration. All right. Amen. Know how to do what God called to do and know it with confidence that God called me to do it. All right. Amen. You don't ever have to ask nobody when you know what you're doing. You don't have to ask nobody what you think. Amen. You never should ask somebody what you feel. Amen. If pastor have been pastoring and he ruled well, he led well, then the church ought to give him something back. It's called investment. I think that every church ought to invest in their leader. Now, most people say that I can't afford to invest. Well, you can't afford not to. Amen. If, 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 if God have blessed you, then you ought to bless somebody. Amen. And now, I, I, I kept thinking about Pastor Cook on yesterday. I, I was working, and I kept thinking about Pastor Cook on a lot of things he had shared with me and told me and did around me. And, and, uh, and he just Pastor Cook. Amen. Amen. Now, a lot of people don't know how to receive Pastor Cook. <laughs> Amen. If he says something, you just need to... <laughs> <laughs> Amen. He just saying what he's saying. Well, I, I kept I kept thinking, and I thought about how many lives have been touched by what he said. Yeah, yeah. And I thought about how many lives have changed by what he said. Yeah. How many people have done different things because of what he said. Uh -huh. And then people stayed in perspective because of what he said. Well, what he did, he made an investment in you. Because pastors always have a compassion for people. 
If there's no compassion, then you can't lead people in the right direction. And so when you keep looking at reciprocity and looking at a trade agreement, I thought about that a lot of times people, when they look at doing stuff, they always want to be manipulative in doing it. Hey Amen. You don't have to coach nobody in doing right. Right. You're right about it. Amen. Right. Amen. So, so how do we how do we invest in pastor? Well, when you when you think about who he is and what he's done, you think about uh, Pastor Cook told me something one time about just dressing. Hey Amen. You know you have stuff on your clothes and he like picking stuff off your clothes. <laughs> Hey, man, he get, and, I, and I noticed a few minutes ago when Rosie had something on the skirt, and he said, Jackie, get that off back. <laughs> Amen. What he's doing is making an investment in your life. A lot of times people think it has to always be spiritual, when it, but he's making an investment. And so when you walk in a place, you're walking with confidence that I look good in what God has allowed me to look good in. You don't know, ever should look. Amen. Because see, we're walking in a kingdom anointing. Yeah. And so when I look at trade agreement, I look at not on a level of just having church, but I look on a level of kingdom. The Bible said, the Bible said that heaven is a place where the gates are, are, are gated with pearl. Yeah. Amen. The streets are, are prayed with gold. Yeah. Now, if I look at what God is going to give me, yes, sir. Then I ought to be able to give God something in return. Yeah, right. Well, if I look at my leader and my leader has helped me see heaven, mm -hmm. yeah. I ought to be able to give my leader something because my leader should never get to a point where he preach heaven and live like hell. Come on, man. Right. Amen. Yeah. We should never take from him that he might not gain. All right. Yeah. All right. Big Amen. The Bible said he ought to be worthy of double honor. Amen. And that's not always, again, it's not always money that I give, because I might not have the money, but I can give him some honor. Yes. Amen. Amen. So we, we, we have to look at reciprocity because I think that the church have, have fallen short when it comes down to respecting men of God. Amen. Look at the room around you. You got seats full, fitted to fill the church up. But when it comes to these days, yeah. right. amen, when it comes to these days, because you look at how Pastor Cook dressed and how he drives, uh, you say he don't need it. Well, I used to tell the church, I said, if I was on the side of the road with a flat tire, run out of gas, and I'm walking up the street with a gas can in my hand, amen, they're not going to say they're going to pass the weather. They're going to say, there goes so and so fast. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Amen. Reciprocity causes me to make sure everything that's connected to me looks good. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Now, I wrote this down because I think all of us need to understand this. I think that when pastors stand up on Sunday morning and share a word, the motivation of him standing is the way you respond. You right. That's right. You right. Sure right. Amen. Because Amen. if you don't respond right, then he has to fight through some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's not good reciprocity. You right about it. Amen. Because if he if he's tall enough to study to give you a solid word. How many how many of you talk to your coworkers at work and and different people and said, talk about my pastor and my church. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, if he's so good for you to talk about, mm -hmm. hmm. Amen. If he if he that good for you to talk about, you ought to be giving something. It didn't make any good sense. Yeah. Amen. Now, now let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all this. Let me tell y'all this. If if I'm gonna motivate a leader. The Bible says in Proverbs, iron sharper than iron. So does a man sharpen the counters of his friend. Yeah, yeah. Now, whatever he needs, you help him. Whatever you need, he's going to help you. Yeah. We're motivating each other to get to the next level of ministry. If, if, if he has done anything for you that you remain a part of Jerusalem, mm -hmm. you ought to make sure he has everything yeah. he needs. Amen. Now, I don't, I don't, I don't particularly like pastors that talk down on finance. All right. Yeah. 
Talking about I don't need this and he's making too much money. If he's making 250000 a year, it ain't enough. Right about it. It's not enough. No matter how he lives, how he drives, that's your pastor. That's right. Amen. All through the Bible, from Tennessee to Revelation, it always depicts us to know that whatever God has said, God has always proven himself in the word of God. Yes, Amen. And so, so when, when we look at it, when we look at it, not only should I be motivated, I ought to, I ought to be secure in my mind that everything is well. Yeah. Now, I tell, I tell a lot of people, I tell a lot of people, flesh, especially married couples, I tell the man and the woman, you ought to always secure each other's mind and heart. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. If you can't secure their mind and their heart, you don't have them. You have to, you say, how do, how do I do it? Well, you have to make sure everything is right there. Yeah. As a pastor, a pastor always makes sure everything is right there. Yeah. But he should never wonder, is everything? No. Amen. Amen. Y'all got quiet of it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So, so. I'm almost finished. I'm almost finished. Y'all gave me 15 minutes. How long have I been up? 10 minutes. <laughs> listen, listen. If I, if, if I secure the mindset, if I secure what's around me, what actually happens is, through my security, God put a bond there that yes, every sir. need is met in my yes, life. Yes, every, every need, every, everything that I desire is met in my mind because I got people around me that are going to secure me. Whenever, whenever somebody come against your pastor, you ought to always put a circle around him with people that believe what he believes. And nobody should be able to touch him. Amen. You, you, ought to, you ought to put a circle around him that every person that walk up on you know, I can't touch him because he got a hedge around him. Reciprocity. Because if he's protecting you, you ought to protect him. And every chance you get, if you can't, let me, let me say this way, I ain't going to say can't. If you don't give on a regular basis, you ought to every now and then put something in his hand. You ought to share what you have. Amen. Amen. Now, Matt going to preach. I just thought I'd share that. Because he's laboring in word and in doctrine. So if he's piercing your heart to where you say, okay, I, I'm, I'm going to do something better. Yeah. I've been discipled through the word of God to where I can believe what he's saying. I'm secure in what he's saying. And no matter what somebody say about him, don't you join the conversation. That's right. That's right. <laughs> don't, don't, don't join in the conversation and say, yeah, I, I was thinking the same thing. And I, I, there was a lot of times, and, and when I was a young preacher, when I, when I, when I just started preaching, People try to talk about Pastor Cook to me, and I say, oh, wait a minute, wait, whoa. Wait a minute now. We don't do that. Why is it? Well, whatever you were telling me, I didn't know, and I didn't want to know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. I, I, didn't, I didn't want to know. If it was up for conversation, I didn't even know it. And then I tell people this all the time. If you talk to me about somebody else, let's get them here. <laughs> if you can't say it in front of them, it ain't worth talking about. Amen. I'm talking about reciprocity now. I'm not, I'm not talking about just something that I just picked up. I'm talking about you returning back yeah. what you'll get now. Because see, if I can receive a thing, yeah. I'll be able to give something back in my reception. Yes, sir. If God is going to motivate you, bless you, sharpen you, quicken you, solidify your mind, then you ought to be able to give back to the man of God. Yeah. Yeah. Big back to God has given unto you. If you can't do it in a good fashion, then your mission is in vain. God, God allows us to share with a return. All of us this time of year look for an income tax. Yeah, yeah. You say, I put something in, I ought to be able to get something back. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. You're, you, you're looking for something back. Right. You're looking for something in return. When Pastor Cook stand up here on Sunday morning, Wednesday morning, Wednesday night, he's looking for something in return. And we have to understand that if he's ruling well, if he's ruling well, 
Jackie, if he's ruling well, yeah. amen, he's looking for something in return. Right, Don't ever let him suffer because of your selfishness. Right, Reverend. Amen. He should never suffer. Now, if he choose to not take it, that's on him. But don't ever let it be on your part that you didn't return something back to him. Give him something. Again, it don't have to be always money. That's right, Reverend. Sometimes a smile helps. Yes, sir. Sometimes an encouraging word helps. Yes, sir. Amen. Now, he's asked a lot of you just to do right. If it's not wrong, just do it. Just, just do it. Amen. It's your investment. If you're looking for a prophet, let him look for us. And I promise you, every time you give him a dime, God will give you a dollar. Every time, every time you make sure he got something, God will give you something in return. Yes, sir. Amen. You'll never be God given. Amen. If you could, if you could just sacrifice what you have that somebody else might have, me and your pastor, because the only occupation he has is preaching to you. And if he can bless you, in turn, please bless him. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Amen. We thank you, God, this day. Yes. We bless you just for what you've done in this hour. Bless your name. We bless you for your word, God. We pray that reception was all around us, God, because we realize reciprocity is needed in this season. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God, for the anointing that's in this place. Thank you for the man of God that you have set in this place. Thank you, God, for his spirit. Thank you for his passion. And we bless you, God, now that you'll cover him from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. We pray, Master, now that every person that has said and heard this word this day, God, that if they didn't know, if they had some doubt about giving, God, that they'd be able to regroup their mind, their spirit, oh God, and realize it's more blessed to give than it is to receive. And we pray, Master, now that every person, oh God, that have went against the word, went against the ministry, went against the mission and the vision, God, Master, they'll understand that it's a fair trade agreement. Master, that they'll be able to give back. They'll be able to work the work that, that around them, oh God. And they'll be able to understand the work is important in this season. Yeah. Realize that we're working on the kingdom of knowing, oh God. And realize even now, Master, you, you set the order straight in this place. Yeah. And because you set the order straight, there are other churches that's involved in this place. That, Master, you've given a word in the ear. And we ask, oh God, now that you're here. They'll believe it and they'll act upon that since there. Yes, we pray, Master, now Amen. that you'll continue to deal with all that we deal with. Yes, Master, realize that it's not our mail, oh God, but it's yours. And realize, oh God, it's your season, Master. The only thing you've done for us is allowed us to be workers in this season. Yeah. So, God, I thank you again for the word that you've given us this day. Thank you, thank you oh God, for the rules, the administration, oh God. Thank you, Master, now. For those, oh God, that would carry out and tell another soul, oh God, that wasn't here today. So we've done it the wrong way. So now we're going to give back. It's going to be fair to us as it is to him. And God, we said thank you. Thank you, Master, for just giving us this opportunity that we've been able to share in this season. Thank you, God, for all that has went on and all that will go on. And we pray again for Pastor Bolden and Pray, oh God, for his strength. Pray, oh God, for his stand. And pray, oh God, he have a solid word, oh God, that somebody will say, I once was lost, but now I'm found. Thank you, God, today. I bless you, Master, for all that you've given us in this day. And it's in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.